Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts, playbooksports.com, pb.buzz slash tm for those of you who want to follow my work and grab my picks uh, and uh, get all free plays uh, are also available on that page. I'm going to be recapping what happened in the NBA on an eventful weekend in the association. And uh, the biggest news is Oklahoma City ascending to the number one spot in the Western Conference. The Young Guns got it done on Sunday night, beating the Phoenix Suns in a roller coaster of a ride. Uh, they were able to take advantage of Devin Booker not being in the lineup due to an ankle injury. More on that in a little bit. Uh, blew a huge lead in the second half. Actually fell behind by as many as six points in the fourth quarter before Shea Gilgis Alexander brought them back. Uh, and the Thunder actually covered uh, in winning, uh, you know, giving the Sun, the Rockets, uh, pardon me, giving the Suns consecutive losses after they fell to the Rockets on Saturday night. And uh, that was another tough break for Phoenix in that late in that game against the Houston Rockets on Saturday, Booker was uh, visibly injured, uh, really spraining his ankle and going straight to the locker room. Uh, he may play at some point this week uh, coming up. Uh, it, it, you know, there is no structural damage, but uh, unfortunately they missed him against OKC. Suns trying to stay out of the play-in. Uh, and uh, now that they have Bradley Beal back, they, should move forward if Booker is able to stay healthy. Another tough injury uh, was New York's Jalen Brunson being hurt very early uh, in the game at Cleveland on Sunday night. It is being labeled as a knee contusion, so the Knicks dodged a bullet there given all of their injuries. Tom Thibodeau says he could play as early as Tuesday, but they're going to take the cautious approach and uh, actually picked up a huge victory without Brunson uh, thanks to Dante DiVincenzo and uh, Josh Hart continuing their tremendous play uh, for the banged up Knicks. New York won in Cleveland and notching an upset uh, despite their leader going out so early. Cavs were without Donovan Mitchell and Karis LeVert due to uh, you know, injuries, and they should be back as well this week. Those are not expected to linger. Milwaukee continues, though, to benefit from the fact that they're playing their best basketball of the season while Cleveland uh, flounders. So look for the Bucs to surpass the Cavs, especially if Mitchell and Levert don't come back. In the uh, Southeast, the uh, Heat were able to beat the Jazz after losing the final game of their road trip in uh, Denver. And so now we have the uh, Heat and Magic neck and neck in the Southeast. Atlanta lost a couple of games to Brooklyn without Trey Young. So the Hawks uh, not only have uh, no chance at winning the Southeast, but they may not even make the top 10 in the East. Brooklyn certainly helped its cause of trying to get into that uh, play in round. So uh, in the Atlantic, we had Philadelphia defeating Dallas in a big game on Sunday afternoon. Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris both played well. Maxey hurt his uh, head a little bit uh, late in that second half and then ended up finishing the game. So he should be fine. Uh, Sixers are another team that can't afford any more injuries. Boston Celtics, though, class of the Eastern Conference, absolute destruction over the Golden State Warriors, beat them by over 50, dominated that game. The Warriors uh, came out with the strategy of leaving Jalen Brown open and daring him to shoot, and that didn't work out well. Brown led the Celtics in scoring, and both he and Jason Tatum were out of the game by mid-third quarter uh, because Joe Mazzulla uh, opted to rest them and uh, not embarrass Golden State further. Uh, the Warriors were without Brandon Pachemski, the rookie, um, who is their spark plug. Stephen Curry was questionable in that game, uh, ended up playing, but not playing well. He is dealing with a little bit of a knee issue that you need to be uh, concerned with uh, as they continue their road trip. Uh, the Lakers got uh, uh, the 40,000 point mark eclipsed from LeBron James and he continues to play great, but they were unable to defeat Denver in a Saturday night pick em. Uh, The Nuggets were without Contavious Caldwell Pope, but uh, Michael Porter Jr. had one of the best games uh, anybody has had this season, perfect from the field, uh, and uh, was the deciding factor in that very exciting game. Uh, Nuggets continued to climb the Western Conference ladder, uh, and Minnesota is actually dipping. So while Oklahoma City is now number one, Minnesota slipping back towards uh, the, the pack, as Denver ascends and potentially could be the number two seed. All those teams very tightly packed as a top three in the Western Conference. But the uh, Timberwolves 
uh, were uh, really victimized by the Los Angeles Clippers on Sunday afternoon. Uh, they struggled down the stretch. They played one of their better defensive games, but all also were awful on the offensive end, indecisive down the stretch, ended up losing a uh, one-point game where neither team ended up eclipsing 90 points. So um, the Clippers, big road win. Paul George is back. They're also trying to make their move at this point. The Sacramento Kings are without the Aaron Fox. We'll see if he plays on a Sunday night. Uh, and so uh, the West is still loaded, obviously. Dallas going in the wrong direction. Uh, I mentioned they lost to Philly despite another Luka Doncic triple-double. Uh, had it uh, con Considering that they uh, defeated Toronto earlier in the week, had that not happened, they'd be on an even bigger losing skid, uh, lose, lo losing in Indiana and losing to uh, Cleveland earlier in the week on that Max Drews buzzer beater. So Mavs headed in the wrong direction. And at this point, the Western Conference is so tightly packed that you really can't afford a losing streak or you'll end up in the play-in. Uh, you know, right now, uh, the Clippers are playing well and leading the Pacific Division. The, the Northwest is as tightly packed as it can be. And uh, in the Southwest, it's the New Orleans Pelicans uh, looking to get healthy and prove, uh, get everybody together. Jose Alvarado completed his suspension. Uh, Zion Williamson has played in the last few games. Brandon Ingram's playing great. So the Southwest is New Orleans to lose. Uh, in, in, the, uh, in the Central, in the East, it's Milwaukee and Cleveland neck and neck, but it looks like the Bucks trending in the right direction could wind up stealing that division after uh, languishing uh, through inconsistency and, and the coaching changes, uh, they're coming up on the right side of things and looking like potentially the number two seed in the Eastern Conference uh, behind the Boston Celtics. So finally, the free pick for Monday night, the Thunder back in action after their win in Phoenix. They're at Crypto.com Arena to face the Lakers, and we're going to ride a player prop, and it's Shea Gilgis-Alexander, second in the MVP odds, to Nikola Jokic. I don't see Jokic losing the MVP, especially if the Nuggets end up first or second in the Western Conference, but Shea certainly making a run. He averages over 31 points a game. Uh, most of the betting markets have his, uh, Gilgis Alexander's point total at 30.5, which is a number that he's eclipsed in eight of the last nine games, including the win over the Suns on Sunday night. Uh, SGA typically scores 31 or more uh, with a number at 30 and a half. Obviously, little room for error, but at the same time, this is something he regularly does. Doesn't matter if he gets guys involved early. Usually, by some point in the in the second half, he has a flurry, and uh, certainly, if a game is tight in the fourth quarter, he calls his own number. So this game against the Lakers, uh, second night of a back-to-back. I think he'll be at his best. So we're going to ride the over on Shea Gilgis Alexander points over 30 and a half for Monday night's free play. And uh, that's been your NBA recap. It's going to be another exciting week in the association as parody has hit. There really is no favorite outside of the Boston Celtics who continue to dominate. Again, you can see all of my work at pb.buzz slash tm. Uh, check out all the playbook experts at playbooksports.com. We're going to have another uh, roundtable video on Friday. You can look forward to that. And every one of these weekdays, you can look forward to a recap video in both college basketball and the NBA. I'm Tony Mejia wishing you a great week and hope you'll join me tomorrow. Take care.